I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesofAccounting.com, Chapter 23. And in this module, we will consider the allocation of service department costs. A service department would be something within the organization, probably within the manufacturing or supporting the manufacturing area, such as janitorial support services, maintenance, cafeteria functions, perhaps there's a worker clinic for health care issues, things of that nature. So not all discrete units within a business organization are focused on the production of the end product. The cost of these services are allocated to products, however, to measure the full cost of producing the product. Remember, for external reporting, we're required to use absorption cost, and it takes into account all of the manufacturing cost, the manufacturing overhead, in other words. And so there's two methods we're going to look at for allocating service department cost. The first is the direct method, which transfers the cost of a service department directly to the productive departments that rely on those services. It's usually based on a logical benchmark, such as the cost of janitorial services, based on square footage of different departments that are in the manufacturing process. The cafeteria cost might be allocated based on the number of employees in each particular manufacturing area. And so let's look at an example. Benjamin Printing has two production departments, the printing department that's highly automated and the binding department which relies on a more manual labor intensive process. The departments are supported by a maintenance department and a cafeteria department. We decide and conclude that maintenance activities are driven by the amount of machinery requiring support and cafeteria services directly related to the number of employees. So here is what looks like to be a fairly tedious or lengthy or detailed spreadsheet, but across the top row is simply the cost of each operation. The cafeteria costs $600,000 to operate, maintenance costs $900,000 to operate, and then the production cost related to printing and binding were $3,700,000 million and $2,500,000 million respectively. Let's focus on the cafeteria. The cafeteria costs $600,000. We're going to directly allocate that cost to printing and binding our two productive departments, $150,000 to printing and $450,000 to binding. We did that based on number of employees in each productive department. Printing employed five persons and binding employed 15 persons. So on a pro rata basis, 5 twentieths of the total cost goes to printing and 15 twentieths of the total cost goes to binding. On the bottom portion of this slide are the supporting calculations. This schedule is exactly reproduced in your textbook. Uh, we would do the same thing for maintenance. Notice we're allocating maintenance directly to printing and binding. And then totaling up, cafeteria and maintenance have been zeroed out. So there's no unallocated cost from the service departments. And printing and binding have been boosted respectively by those particular costs to get the total cost of our printing activities and our binding activities. The direct approach ignores an important facet, however, and that is service departments may support each other. For example, Benjamin's maintenance employees also eat in the cafeteria. So let's see how we're going to mitigate this issue under the STEP method. An identified service department's cost is first allocated to other units, including other service departments. Then those resulting costs are successively stepped out to production. And an illustration best shows this. We're going to keep our same cost here. The cafeteria, maintenance, printing, and binding start with the same cost. But now the cafeteria cost of $600,000 is allocated not only to printing and binding, but also to the maintenance department based on the number of employees in each department. So we're stepping out that cost to maintenance, printing, and binding. After making that step allocation, the maintenance department has a total cost of a million one that's then allocated to printing and binding based on the number of machines in use in each particular department. Once we get through making this allocation, we come up with 4,625,000 of the total cost to printing and 3,075,000 of binding. Again, the lower portion of this shows the calculations for each of those allocations. This is in your textbook. You might want to look closer at that and test the mathematics to be sure you understand the process that's being followed. Now, one thing the STEP method fails to consider is that some of the maintenance employees may be providing services to the cafeteria. That is, some of the maintenance costs may be absorbed by the cafeteria. We can get into a simultaneous allocation situation. I say it is quite possible to identify a number of interactions between various service departments. There's no mathematical limit to the number of STEP allocations that could be made, and we could indeed use calculus to achieve numerous simultaneous allocations. However, companies are usually content to rely on a direct or very simplified step allocation process such as that that I've just shown and illustrated.